Welcome back, everybody. Oh, man. Wow. I think you might be in for a surprise. Well, it's certainly surprising, but maybe for the wrong reasons. We're in a little town today called Mansfield, Ohio. Now, Mansfield, Ohio is an interesting place. It's interesting because this is where I was born. I was born in this. I got out of this, but right now I'm back in it. And I couldn't think of any better way to share my stuff, my love for this place than to bring you guys along. Mansfield, Ohio is 100% a Rust Belt town. It is suffering from all the problems that Rust Belt towns suffer from. And it is the result. It is, this is the culmination of industry leaving en masse and populations declining. So I think the best way to describe Mansfield is that when I had moved to California, I went to this birthday party and somebody came up to me and they said, hey, are you from Mansfield? Now, I'm in the Bay Area at this point and I just think that's surprising that somebody is asking me if I'm from Mansfield and I say, yeah, I'm from Mansfield. And they go, oh, there's somebody here who's also from Mansfield. Let's go meet him. So they take me down this little dirt path and there's a guy in a wheelchair, very old, probably in his 90s. And he's like sitting in like a, like a Teddy Roosevelt style wheelchair, you know, with the Teddy Belt, the, the uh, Teddy, or I'm sorry, the Theodore Roosevelt. The Theodore? One of the Roosevelts. One of those guys. And he's like, he's like, oh, you're from Mansfield. I'm like, yeah. He goes, ah, Millionaire's Row. Is it still beautiful? And I just thought to myself, Millionaire's Row? Beautiful. So I lied and I said, yeah, it's still beautiful. And um, I went back home shortly after that party to look it up. And sure enough, at one point, this place was considered one of the most expensive, beautiful towns in America because of all the brass and steel barons. And now it's this. So let's go through and take some pictures. Franklin, Franklin Roosevelt. That's who I was thinking of. It took me a while. All right, where should we start? Let's start over here. We are out here today with Canon ER, ER, EOS R5, <laughs> and the 85 millimeter F1.2 on what is a tornado warned uh, noon. So it's actually like exceptionally warm right now. It's like 70 something degrees, very humid. And it just kind of has that, that feeling of Midwest storm in the air. Look at this old news journal. Very rarely did I leave my, uh, did I leave my room. kid living in Mansfield. And it's been decades, decades. Since I've walked any of the streets downtown, I don't know if I've ever truly even just plain out walked the streets down here. 
The sheriff's department references God, so that's usually a good indication that you're in the Midwest. There's a lot of buildings that look like they're being prepped for something. But then there's like a lot of kind of cool stuff. Like you look up here and this kind of has just a hint of a, almost like a, like a Bourbon Street style looking. Where is it? Let's see what we can get here on this guy. Oh, let's get that. We'll get that in the middle. Let's try that. Oh, Mansfield is known something, I think it's called like the carousel capital of America or America's carousel fun city, something really weird like that. And that's because over here in this building is the, uh, the carousel. Right now, I mean, this is supposed to be the big tourist draw around here. All the horses are like handcrafted and stuff like that. But you look inside, it just looks like it's all storage. I don't know if we can get a picture of like... pictures for you. The, the milky glass adds to the creepiness. The daffodils, however, are absolutely stunning. Let's go the direction that they're facing, shall we? There we go. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is very Americana. A horse with a flag in the background. You been there? Yeah, like Mansfield is just so ancient Americana. You're just like, well, nobody will believe I was here unless I take a picture. <laughs> like that was a fever dream. You too, thank you. Right. It's nice to know that the people, I mean, it's like, uh, oh, look at this. There's like actual people here. Howdy. What goes around? Oh, see, look, they got the carousel, car carousel thing going on there. We'll come back that way in a second. Let's see what's down here in the brick alleys. You know how I am about alleys. Oh man, I'm not sure there's anything here that. Look at the old like cobblestone everything, man. 
that's another thing. It's like in the Midwest, everybody hella suspicious. They're like, what are you doing there, buddy? What are you up to? It's also an older population. Oh man, that tree smells amazing. Look at this tiny little door. What a, what a weird vignette. I can't even tell you just how good this tree smells though. I don't know if there's a, there's a picture here or not, but. Man, I mean, that smells like, if only the rest of the place looked like that tree smelled, they'd be in good shape. All one way, right? So I can only get hit in one direction. Oh my God. I mean, it is in so many ways, just an, right, look, and then here we go buildings with the Ten Commandments on it. I mean, there's, it's a whole different era, dog. It's a whole different era. I kind of want to get that Bisman and Wholesale Grocers, but I just don't know if I'm going to be able to. Uh... I got the 35 mil with me, but I'm just enjoying the enjoying the power of the 85 so much. All right, what can we do here? Ugh, that is not a good photo. Oh, but this, all right, all right, hold up. We may have to 85 it a little bit here. All right, let's start with this. Oh, that's cool. All right, now let me see how far away do we have to be? Oh man. Here, before I get, let's do this. It's out of curiosity. Before I really get out there. Oh yes, yes. I can sort of pre viz in my phone. I kind of like that right there. This is such a lonely thing, but I want to be on the other side. We can do this. We can do this with the 85. I just don't want to get hit by a car in Mansfield, Ohio. You know what I mean? All right, we get across the street. We're good. I think this tells the tale pretty good here. Such a, such a crusty place. One more. 
Go down low. There we go. I like it. I like it. Definitely has that. That sense of uh, urban exploring going on here. Yeah, I may have to switch to the uh, 35 millimeter here in a second. Just back in the day, like when everything was serviced by. There's old railroad tracks everywhere. All right. Oh, today is like maybe even our first like gloveless stream. Far cry from where we were not that long ago in terms of temperature. Holy cow. Went from winter last time that we were out to like summertime tornadoes. All right, let's head to, to the square. Every old American town had a square. Hope you like the sound of wind. Cause there's gonna be some of that today. Let's go see if we can turn up our brightness. Picture of nothing. All right. Come on, Mansfield. Give us something. Give us something that nobody else can give us. Show us the old glory. Thank you. 
Oh, this might be the way to go. Look at this uh, beautiful shack. Gorgeous. What you need? Yeah. Okay. This one big one right here? So I go to the other block that way? Awesome. Yeah, dude, I appreciate it, man. Dude, that's badass. Thank you, man. All right. So this blue building. Something about Mickey Mouse. Like I had to be facing that way, I think is what he said. See, see that. I ain't gonna lie, I don't see it, man. I ain't see it, dog. To the blue building. We on some wild ghost hunt right now. But we got that. All right, let's go back around this way though. I didn't see that. All right, here we go. That's great. Cool, well, you know, we got a thing today. We got a thing. Downtown wigging out. I keep taking pictures, man. All right, there's the car. Here's downtown wigs. I want to get the name in there somehow. Cars go by. There we go. All right, now let's do the following. Let's go ahead to the more industrial section, see if we can find something there. I'll be right back. Here we go. Woo! And we are back. We've got an uh, interesting opportunity here with a train, which is kind of cool. 
Love to get a picture with the train. We do have the 24, or I'm sorry, the 35 millimeter with us now. So I thought it would be cool to just get. Get a picture of the train here as it goes by. Get a little Americana in there. <laughs> Luckily for us, the road is closed here. This thing here Ooh, it's windy. No, the hat must come back. I'm gonna lose the hat. again back in another industrial area here sort of like the industrial edge of, of Mansfield get the backpack all set up here there we go and this should be this should be a pretty good uh, urban rot. It's so... It's so big. I don't know how else to put it, but it's so encompassing that I just went with the uh, 35 millimeter here for the rest of this. Otherwise, I just don't think we're going to see it all. All right. You know, the people in Mansfield are 
the definition of salt of the earth, like real grit, tenacity, because they're literally making something out of, out of nothing. I mean, there's no, there's no massive rush to be here. There's not a lot of reasons for people to visit other than they do have the Mansfield Reformatory, which we might come and visit at some point. Because the reformatory is pretty cool. You know, these people, they really make the most out of what they got. And I think a lot of them would say that they don't choose to be here. But for those who are here, they're doing their best. And there's more Mansfield, Ohio's in the world than there are New York's, Cleveland's, Cincinnati's, Chicago's, San Francisco's. For every one of uh, big city, there's gonna be 50 of these, right? So to see them trying and working on it, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. And even here on the edge of this industrial sector, we find this little beautiful reconstruction where they're still keeping the bricks. They're still celebrating its folded history, but then they're also building, building on top of it, something new. They're basically rewriting the history It has a very uh, very sort of wrought iron beat. Louisiana sort of feel to it in, in a few spaces and that's pretty cool. Smells like fresh candy. I don't know if that's to lure me in. But it's working. It's kind of been... if I can make that work. That's a hard one to, to get a picture of. Oh, and every town needs its brick alley. Not a city in America that doesn't have its beautiful brick alley. Oh, 
and then we're back here. Very interesting. real. All right, one more walk around the block and then that will put be a beautiful end to our uh, Time together is coming to an end, laddie. Just bags floating through the sky like birds. <laughs> Do you see that bird, that bag? It literally is just like, like it's all we got here. It's what we got, we got bags. Boy, look at this, like. Somebody's like, what's your favorite thing? Your favorite building material? It's like concrete. And I want all of it. They're like, don't even worry about it, fam. very bright out it's it's uh it's hazy but you can see there's still like i wouldn't call them super sharp shadows the triple s but they're i mean then against the bright white concrete looks like they're like in the middle of building this to be honest with you oh they're definitely in the middle of building you can tell by the fact that there's stuff still being built. Trying not to fall. And don't forget, we got macro capabilities here. Smells like fire. What a weird. Got it. 
there's like old signs, an old car, an old tractor. Somebody was like, what do you got that's old? Just bring it to my backyard. We'll put it there. And it's like kind of new building of all things. And look at this like just monolith. I just feel there's like a lot of this kind of stuff here. Just like, they're like, well, we got like 18 trillion, uh, oh, and these guys are working on old cars. How cool is that? I'm not gonna bug them. Almost perfect. Better. Man, this area, this area here giveth. The other area taketh away. This area got our back. to do it for us today here in Mansfield, Ohio, the place where I was born. Thanks for putting up with the wind here. I'll face away from the wind so you can hear me. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for just doing everything that you guys always do. You've, you're an amazing community. You put up with a lot of random things that we do here. Mansfield is not one of the places that anybody would ever ask to take photos at. So I really appreciate that you come along and please like and subscribe. It means a lot to a little channel like mine. And I will talk to you guys soon. Peace.